Hello fellow face painters! Um, this is the first time I'm actually recording a video so I've got a feeling the sound quality might be a bit odd on this but we'll have to see how it goes. Um, if it's not I'm sorry about that. Um, today I am trying an experiment. I am going to try and mix two tubs of paint into a new colour and repot them so I have two tubs of paint in the same colour. Um, I really want a light grey and it doesn't really show up on camera that well. It looks quite light, I can see in the picture, but this is quite a dark grey. It's Maron Paradise. And this is in St ooh, Storm Cloud. And the other is just white. So what I'm hoping to do is to mix these two together to form a lighter grey. Um, I had a look online and I can't see... <laughs> I can't see anyone who's attempted this. Maybe you all know better. Um, but I thought I'd give it a go. I could go out. Um, Snazaroo do do a light grey, which is the, the shade that I'm after. But I do have really dry skin and I find that the, these Paradise paints, they are so much more moisturising and I get better coverage with them. Um, so, uh, yeah. If you, it's going to be for me, this is for a Halloween costume. So, um, and it's just nice to have different colours. Um, it's a shame they don't do a lighter grey in their palette. But anyway, um, we shall see what happens. Here goes. What do you do? feels a lot drier.
looking a bit marbled now. I think I'm slowly melting that really dry white. Don't know what happened there guys, I just noticed something on my screen that says movie recording has stopped automatically. I don't know how long that's been like that. Um, basically, what's happened now is, um, whoa, that was a lot of hard work. Um, the, about 10 minutes, maybe longer, of just kneading and rolling. Like almost when you mix two Play-Dohs, different colour Play-Dohs together. Um, that's <laughs> that's what I can compare it to. Um, the white one was so much drier than the grey um, that, in hindsight, <laughs> always better in hindsight. Um, I, I do have a spray bottle here. I could have um, just watered that down a bit more and got it to the same texture as the grey and then sort of sort of got them more malleable separately before blending them together. I think that might have been a bit easier. Um, but, you know, learning. If any of you guys want to try, <laughs> um, let me know how you get on with other brands and stuff. So within brands, um, different colours will have slightly different consistencies. Um, some colours can be a lot drier than others, so um, I should have known that. Oh, my door. Shit. Pause, one moment. Huh, right. Where were we? Yes. Before I got rudely interrupted. <laughs> so, um, I was, I am waiting for a parcel, which is why I went and answered the door, but it was just someone here to read the meters. Exciting. Right, so I've rolled that into a ball and I'm gonna cut it in half. Uh, let's see, about there. Um, I'm hoping, I don't, I don't know how this is going to act now, um, whether or not I've put too much air into it, um, I don't know if that's going to affect it or not. Um, I don't know whether or not I said it either, but um, the reason I really like these paints um, and the reason why they're so moisturising is... Um, Face painters probably already know this if you use it, because um, you can smell it, it smells incredible. Um, it's got aloe vera, avocado oil, cocoa butter and chamomile flower extract in it. It's really soothing and it's really moisturising. Um, so lovely. So I'm trying to do this <laughs> so that it's on camera, but I'm, I've got a tripod which is really in my way, so it's really difficult. Um, don't know how you guys do it out there. I'm gonna have to work it out. Um, yeah, I'm happier with this colour. I don't know if you can actually tell the difference on camera, but this is much lighter. Um, it's the sort of colour that I'm definitely going for. So, um, I'm guessing I'm just gonna have to leave this out for a bit to. Maybe not out. Maybe I can just put the lid on and put it in the fridge or something to set it and then I'll probably leave that overnight in the fridge and I'll get back to you tomorrow and we shall try it on my skin and see if it works right there sort of pop that back in two tubs of the same new colour lovely Let's hope it works. <laughs> oh, that was a lot of effort. It's quite fun though. It's quite satisfying. Like playing with Play-Doh. 
Um, I don't know if you can tell actually, it, what's really difficult is these gloves. They're quite big but they, it's really, really sticky <laughs> and um, the gloves kept pulling away from my hand quite a lot of the time. I wanted to stick to the paint rather than stay on my hand. Right, there we go. I'm off camera again. There we go. Two new tubs of light grey face paint. Perfect. Okay, here is the final result. And uh, that took about three hours in the fridge. Um, didn't take as long as I thought. It didn't take overnight. And um, yeah, I actually put this on with one of those makeup sponges rather than a face painting sponge because all of mine are in the washing machine. Um, but yeah, that's turned out really nice. And um, yeah, there were no issues with um, spraying it with water. I thought that um, maybe clumps of it would come off on the sponge. Um, but yeah, no, works just like a normal face paint. Um, so yeah, please let me know if any of you guys have done anything similar. I'll be quite interested to see how you guys have done it as well. Thank you, bye!